Welcome back into my office. You're here now with me, Brian. Let's uh, take a look uh, in detail at this wonderful uh, oversized, uh, thick quarto book, Naval and Mail Steamers of the United States by Stuart, uh, mid 19th century, it's 1853 New York. Uh, there are uh, 36 uh, plates within it uh, and it's complete, of which nine of them depict uh, specific uh, steamships. Uh, like this beautiful engraving here, signed in the plate by the engraver. All of the uh, images within retain uh, their uh, tissue guards. Uh, and there are six uh, color plates. Uh, this uh, engraving here is by Ormsby, who I believe was a banknote uh, engraver. Uh, here's a list of the contents. There are a couple small uh, early uh, pencil, uh, blue pencil annotations by a former owner, noting uh, there was some connection to Japan of a couple of the steamships. Here is a list uh, of the contents and the plates, uh, which are in involve, um, which include uh, cross sections and diagrams, uh, such as this one here. Uh, and all of the text is set within uh, the rules, like you see. Uh, and we are going to basically uh, try to show you the uh, steamship plates. Uh, here is a beautiful uh, tinted lithograph here by Cerrone and Major, uh, a, a major printing firm uh, in New York uh, that did a lot of work in the 19th century, even for government uh, reports of images and so on like this. And let's see here now, we'll just keep going through it. And I will, like there's a nice double page cross-section view of the engines. And like so, right, like this. On page 106 here coming up, we've got a, a steamship uh, image. I believe that's it right there. That's 108, hold on. Here's one right here, the John Hancock. We'll show you, I'll show you the binding uh, at the end. It's a more modern cloth binding, which is very sturdy and sound. Uh, and here is one of the images, and here is another one, the Princeton. Oh yes, tall mast ship with rigging. Okay, and here we are. Let's turn the book this way again, and we'll continue browsing it. What I'll do is I'll actually uh, show you from the rear now. Here is a publisher's list uh, of available publications. Uh, including like there's some testimonials about the book here about how wonderful their works are etc and let's take a look here 144 is another uh, image that we want to see here coming up okay here it is yes this is very nice this is the steamer the Golden Gate right there yeah these each of these uh, tinted lithographic views uh, is quite collectible and valuable, of course, in its own right, the sort of images that a frame shop uh, would uh, present on a wall in a frame. And let's take a look here, 108 and 106 are two other ones we'll come to with any luck here in just a second. And, okay, it's a little tricky trying to show you the book while browsing the book, while filming the book. <laughs> okay, and there's the John Hancock, the second view of it. See, we've got another one, I think, right here. The second view of the Princeton. I don't believe you've seen that one. And I think that gives you a good idea of what's inside the book. Uh, this front is here, the color lithographed one, really is just a wonderful image there. Uh, worth looking at a second time. And now we see here that the book is in this sturdy green cloth, like so, top edge of the text block. Actually, all edges of the text block are gilt. And if this book uh, interests you, it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.